Hello everybody and welcome to another vlog from Agricology. My name is Richard Smith and I'm the farm manager at Dalesford Organic Farm. This year we've been lucky enough to take on another farm and so we are share, in a share farming agreement with a local family and here we are having taken on this 450 acres of farm. It's been being, it's been farmed conventionally for many years previous farmers taken his crop off we've come in with a cultivator so a leg a set of uh, discs and then a press at the back we've been over a couple of times and created a seed bed so a kind of mint hill system we then rolled that ground to break it down make a nice tight seed bed and you can see here today that we're putting the seed on so this is red clover and rye grass we're putting 32 kilograms to the hectare of seed onto this ground. Two thirds of that seed mixture is ryegrass, one third red clover. Now when the crop establishes and gets itself away, the, the far dominant uh, uh, growth that will be in there will be red clover. The reason I put a little ryegrasses into the mix is because I want to graze it with livestock. And when you put livestock onto a red clover lay, if you've got a little bit of ryegrass in there, they actually find that more palatable than the red clover. But at the same time, then they start picking at the red clover. And it actually virtually eliminates any worry through bloat and so on. So it's ryegrass that they find more palatable, then red clover. We're putting it on with an ironbok. So we're just sprinkling the seed in, scratching it with a harrow, and then we'll roll it in really tightly. And by mid-October, this will be a fantastic looking crop and I promise to come back and show you um, the results of how it's got away. By far the safest time to put grass seed in an open lay like this, so it's not going in as an under sow where it sort of contains a bit of moisture, is at the end of August, early September. We're getting heavy dews by then, there's always a bit of moisture and you'll find that your crop will establish really well and it's far less risky in the autumn than it is in the spring. I hope you found that useful. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.